Hey best friend, welcome back to Cutie East TV. If you're new to my channel, my name is Danielle. You can call me Queen D. If you want to see more of my videos and become one of my best friends, join my family and hit that subscribe button down below, friend. And today, guys, I am having a mukbang. I'm so excited! So, I was watching Eat With Q. If you don't know who Eat With Q is, I guess you're just living under a rock. But anyway, if you don't know who she is, go to her channel, check her out. She is amazing. I was eating one of her videos, I mean, eating one of her videos. I was watching one of her videos, and she had got some Ethiopian food. And she was here in Atlanta, and I was like, let me go and try some Ethiopian food. I didn't go exactly to the restaurant that she went to, but I did find me a place that sold what she was eating in the video. So I went and got it. And the place that I went to is called Laydet. L-E-D-E-T. Could be Laydet or let me see. Yes, Laydet. And I was in the area and it was called it's Stone Clarkston, Georgia. So if you're ever I guess it's near Atlanta or you can go to the place Q referred to too. Just find you a, a, a Ethiopian spot and get you some food because this food smelled amazing. I haven't tasted anything yet. So I'm going to show you guys what we're eating. Well, let's pray first and then I'm going to show you guys what we're going to eat. God is grace and God is good and we thank you for this food. By our heads, we all are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I wish I could smell it. Okay, so I had got, it was called the Ledette Combo. And the Ledette combo consists of injera, I think it's injera or ejera, with the, their bread, and it came in this little, oh, I'm looking for the rest of the H, hot to go bag, <laughs> and this is the first time I've felt a bread like this, it comes rolled up like this. And you open it, and it looks like a sponge almost, or it looks like um, y'all know that it's like the inside of a chair padding, the orange stuff. That's what that looks like. So that's what that is. Injera. I'm gonna taste it really quick. Hmm, that's interesting. It's not nasty. But <clears throat> when you bite into it, you don't really taste anything at first until you start to chew and then that flavor comes out. And I can't put my finger on what the flavor is. Okay, so we got the injera. And, and this is the combo that I got right here. They gave me, I guess, I don't know if this is lettuce or what. And got some jalapenos and some onion in here. I'm going to try it though. I guess this might be like a vinaigrette. Let's see. That smells good. I like vinegar, vinegary based stuff. Okay, so in the Ledette Carmo, let's move this out the way. I have here, so the Ledette combo was the, uh, a little, I guess a mini version of the vegetarian combo that they have. And then you got Lega tits, which is lamb, Away's tits, which is beef, and I believe that's this over here. I'm guessing this is the lamb, so I guess it's ground lamb, maybe? I'm not sure. But it smells good. It smells real good. Then you got the little veggie combo down there, which is the greens and the cabbage. And then you got some tomatoes and onions and stuff up here. Or that may be a part of the beef. The beef. The um, a ways tips. 
And then we have Kitfo. So I looked up online what Kitfo is. I don't know if y'all can see that. The Kitfo is this stuff right here in the corner. And Kitfo is actually raw meat or raw beef. Some type of like a delicacy. It's raw beef and then they have some spices and butter and they melt the butter and cook the spices into the butter and then you mix the finely finely mixed raw beef in the mixture the uh spicy and butter spices and butter mixture with the meat and it is served warm so we're gonna try that today or it could be this stuff right here Child, I don't know. I looked it up on Google, and that's what they said it was. So, we gonna eat it. I prayed over it. That's all that matters. So, you got the greens, cabbage, the kitfo, kitfo, the away's beef tips, and I think this is the... I really don't know because it just looked like ground beef or like some ground turkey or something. But it looks amazing. And it smells even better. Alright, so we prayed over it. The, I'm going to try the Kitfo first. We just going to dive straight into it. There goes the bread. And we eat it like this. That's very, very good. Guys. Very good. And the bread goes perfect. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Okay, let me try something else because I would get stuck just eating that right there. That's a tomato. This is very, very good. Mm. I love, oh my goodness, this is amazing. Instead of Away's Tips, they should have named it oh, Amaze Tips. Or is it Tips? I think it's Tips. Mmm. That is good. Where have I been?
y'all see that? Oh my goodness. Try some of these greens. Cabbage. Oh, cabbage and potatoes. That is good. Q is right. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just so amazed at how good this is. Like, I really deep down been craving something like this, too. Something with some good flavor, some spices. Something different to taste. This hit the spot right here. Wish I could smell it. it smells so good too. Mmm. over here. Oh, it's a jalapeno over here. Okay, so I think this is lamb. That's beef. Then I don't know what this is here in the middle. It's some kind of ground meat. Or is that the Ken? Well, somebody tell me. If you are familiar with Ethiopian food, do you know what this ground meat is? Let me know. Whatever it is, child, I'm eating it. It's good. I done already ate it. Uh. Mm. Really good.
scared to bite a child because, you know, that's the real hot jalapenos, not the pickle ones. I like the pickle ones. Mmm. I love some greens too. Mmm. Cabbage. Mm hmm. Mm. Look, I'm confused. I don't know what to eat. Ooh, I could make me a little. I feel like these are like peas or something. Like some kind of something in a pea family. I was going to say lentils, but I thought lentils were green. Well, I guess it don't matter. It just depends on what kind of curry seasoning you use. If that is curry, what they use. Wrap this thing up. Y'all, this is so good. Look, I got the collard greens in there. I got those two meats. I'm a ways, a ways beef. I've been saying I've been wanting to try this and I would just never stop because I didn't know what to get. That's good. So, 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 so good. If you're watching this video and you're from Ethiopia, know anything about their culture and their food, let me know some other things that I could try. Because I would love to try some more food. Mm. 
Everything on this plate, I like. So they give you a kind of ideas of the flavors that I like. Best friend. There you go, that napkin. Mm. Cheers. Well, it's only some water, but. Oh, man. So, best friend. Mm. Today, I'm off. I was just chilling, chilling today. Or chillaxing, I was going to say. Probably going to shampoo my hair. Hooray, right, I know. I know, y'all. That's what I need. Finally gonna do my hair. I don't know what I'm gonna do to it yet, but I'm just gonna get it washed and go from there. This ground meat is amazing. I could really put it in some tacos. Once I find out what it is. I'm gonna bite that jalapeno. <laughs> that thing is spicy. Friend, that was good. So, I agree. Uh, Ooh. Uh, That's one of the best meals I've had in a long time. And when I say best meals, I mean like something that I've been thinking about that I just been like, man, if I could just find me somewhere to just have some, something different. But just also good, like good for the soul good. And friend, this was good for the soul good. One thing that I should have did different was ordered my beef. 
Uh, and the lamb uh, medium well, or is it medium? I don't know. But but I told him well then. And I, I like my steak to be, you know, kind of soft a little bit. But other than that, it was amazing. So if you ever in Georgia in the area, it's Clarkston, Georgia, like near Stone Mountain area. Try out Ledette. Ledette Ethiopian restaurant. L E D E T. And Miss Q, thank you. For real. <laughs> I appreciate that. Good looking, sis. I got to get up out of here. Have to get ready for work tomorrow. If you are new, like I said, and you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up so I know you love me. And make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified of when I post new videos or live. And keep up with your best friend, girl. I will see you tomorrow.